Hello, me here again with a quick explanation of the stress curve. The stress curve demonstrates the relationship between stress and performance. Looking at the curve like this in the low area of stress when we're not very motivated, there's a feeling of lassitude, fine if we're not actually being called upon to do very much. And then as we move up the scale, we get a little bit more pressure in life. That kind of motivates us to get us going. We get things done. And known as eustress, this is the area of optimum performance. It's pretty handy when you need to get a job done. And quite often people find, and some people say, they perform better when they're under pressure. That's debatable because it depends on the level of pressure, as we can see here. But if you're in that eustress zone right in the middle, great everything functions as it should it's when things go over that hump down the other side when you start to slip down that slope into the area of distress that things become a bit alarming and if that's prolonged it becomes quite toxic this is what's known as chronic stress when it's ongoing and you find that you can't shake the symptoms of stress you can't relax you can't think straight you can't string two words together in quite the same way that you used to so the critical point on this curve is that area just behind the hump as things are beginning to go downhill just into the uh, area of distress it's at that point you need to call on your best stress management techniques. Maybe you get support from others. Maybe you ask for help with a task. Maybe you take some time out, do some breathing, do your yoga exercises. Whatever your favoured stress management techniques are, that's the time to apply them. The critical part for operationally for us as individuals is to recognise when we're moving towards that area of distress. And that is where a lot of people get it wrong. Because once you get into the area of distress, your thinking changes. You think you're okay. You think you're Superman or woman. You think you can do more than you actually can deliver. And your thinking distorts. So by the time you're on that slippery slope downhill, you're in the danger zone. Don't trust your judgment. Wind back, take a break, breathe deeply, calm down and get back into the zone, as they call it, in that middle eustress area. So there you are, a quick explanation. Low stress levels, okay, but not great for performance. Optimum level, right in the middle of the curve. Once you start to slip down that slope, watch out, take care, and take care of yourself. All the best. Over to you.